Hey fellow Koopas, welcome to the next war recap here with Sumac. We went up against a clan from Maine. It was uh, 207's Most Wanted, and we were victorious. They were a Goat clan, but they were nice. They had a guy who came over after the war and said, thanks for good war. So, very polite. And they used, you know, most of their attacks. We used most of ours. We just uh, weren't using go wipe, so uh, we were able to solve a few more bases than they were and get into it. Alright, so I came in here on this base um, with a Gova Low, but later I uh, went in with a Gova Ho as well. So anyway, Golem on top, Golem on bottom starting to clear that funnel and I put the wizards in a combo so that they would come in here and take out these two buildings and then um, the funnel is creates itself so I just spread a whole bunch of docks all around here so they can work on this um, put that jump so that I don't connect these compartments only to go straight into the core anything but a dragon it's not a dragon so I'm good I drop a second poison for skeleton traps to make sure that I've got the archer queen slowed I think I missed um, do it a, a heal, then a rage, then another heal, because with back end loons, back end loons don't need spells. And they have these five defenses I wanted to get, um, so I brought ten loons. Easy peasy. Um, but yeah, back end loons don't need spells, and so it you can spend all of your spells on the kill squad. And a base like this, that's really easy to do. So, and that's really easy to be successful while doing it. So, that's slow. Yeah, slow cleanup, but easy three star. Um, and I'm gonna skip down to this one, which I did a, another Valk attack, but then I used uh, back end. This was a cleanup, so I knew there was a double giant bomb there and here. Um, but I used back in hogs instead of back in loons. So I lured the CC and got the double giant bomb set. I thought negated. And then drop a Valk in there because I know she'll run up there and take care of that witch. I can lose one Valk to poisoning that kill squad. Drop that jump so again I don't connect into these other compartments only to get into the core. And then these are distracted defenses, so. I drop a few there, drop a few down here. Um, roll right on through the base. And drop a heal in that core for the Valks. We got a couple hogs I'm just waiting to see where it would be most beneficial to drop them. Drop that heal. It didn't really need to be there. I healed up a bit of one hog that ran through the giant bomb, but I don't know what I should have done with it. That's okay. Good enough. Gets three. Okay. So, and the bases were just set up differently. The air defenses weren't as easy to all take out in the second one because loons you can bring two per defense, but for hogs you typically want three per defense. It's just more expensive. For the back end stuff. But anyway, Mort comes in here, he's got two golems, he's got a good jump down there. Well, no, I think he. Do you have wall breakers? Okay. Yeah, he's got a jump down, he's gonna get that archer thing pretty easily. And golem's still alive, and one busted into golemites. You can see a giant bomb going off there, and he's just gonna do mass hogs, sweep them around this base. Nice heal through a whole bunch of defenses. Heals through that expo. Let's that group up top die because they weren't going to get a whole lot of benefit out of it. Got another heal through the expo, through the Teslas, through the wizard tower, which is where a whole bunch of hogs needed. And it just rolls. Last heal goes down. Only a couple defenses left. He also heals right over a giant bomb. Which I guess he knew about it because it was symmetrical to where 
the other one was going to be. Go clean up, go. Good job. Bug comes in here with a shadow. Yeah. Got poison on that CC as it's working on this golem. Gonna take them all out. Whole bunch of knocks go down. I think it was, I thought a little bit late with this jump. But, yeah, I think you should have the jump down well, a little bit ago. Eventually puts a jump down, I'm pretty sure. There it is. Yeah, and he's just gonna do surgical hooks around here. He does still have a couple of ox up. There was a lot of business, a lot of noise, and I wasn't sure if this was going according to his plan or not, but it was. Because now a whole lot of point defenses are shooting in on that. On that kill squad that's still in the core, and we just sprinkle them in here and there and just wherever it seems they'd be most beneficial. And it's got enough firepower to get it done. Not not the prettiest attack, but. Good enough. Okay, then Dawn came in here. Alright. And he did. He's been rolling with the Gola Loon recently. It's been working well for him. And he's getting a lot better at the surgical bit, so I'm excited for this. Almost a monster with dragon attacks at Town Hall 8. Okay, speeds of golems in there. They take all the CC fires, got everything under a poison. And he's taking out the air defenses, which is what matters. You can see he's got the other air defense there. Once they go down, then he's going to have the pathing he wants. He's got a pretty low level one here in there. Yeah, under level air defenses, so we can take advantage of this. Air defense fine, but goes down. And he's sending in a couple back end looms before he's even doing the lava hound part because it's on distracted defenses. Basically free defenses, but here comes the, the hound, if you the looms. More balloons on the back side. They're a little bit too early. That Lava Hound doesn't tank the AD for him at all, but that's all right. He's only got the one AD and one Tesla left that can do him any damage, and he's got a bunch of balloons that were left right in there. And then he cleans up. Didn't even need second Lava Hound for two air defenses. Bug had a six star war here. Any base that's got a moat, prime for a Valk attack. So you can get into that core and, and kill it. The Valks are just. They're, they're going to probably be nerfed soon ish. They kind of have to be because they're just in incredible right now. Well, I don't know, maybe people will start changing their base designs to be more anti-Valkyrie. That'll probably be what we see next coming up. Yeah, good 3-star. Um, Valk, Beckon, Hogs, very good. And gotta go hope here.
Alright, he's gonna bring a couple golems in there. They're going to get a couple giant bomb spots taken care of, and they're also gonna get into that core and get a whole bunch of fire going. And then he's gonna release the max hogs first, so they do a whole bunch of damage this whole time. Now it's around here. Possible double giant bomb. He's going to half it in a way that it's only triggered one at a time. Is that a possible double? No, it couldn't have been. Because it was only a 6x2. Very good. Alright, and then Cole came in here and played the dragons. I'm just gonna bring three rages because he's got um, air defenses on the outside here. He doesn't really have to worry about about lightning any of them because he can take them out. And smashes accordingly. Good job. Okay, and then Brat. Son of a bitch. Okay, and then Bug. I guess had a 9 star war here. Came in with these sweet level 1 dragons. But, yeah. Very nice. Dragons make a perfect line all the way across the base, moving forward at the same time. Good three. But yeah, the other team, you know, they were nice, they were fun. You just, they weren't as experienced at different types of attacks. They tried a couple, but um, I don't, but it's difficult if you don't hit anti three star bases to then go up and hit them uh, for the first time in a while. It's it's quite a shocker to see them and to imagine them as opposed to actually practicing on them. And so we haven't seen a few of them until we sort of had that advantage. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, take care.